Hey everybody and welcome to the first video in my tutorial series for RenPy and in this video I'm going to talk to you very quickly about what RenPy is and why we choose to use it over other platforms and then a couple of information links so on and so forth. So RenPy is an extension of Python which allows you to create visual novels very very easily with a simple interface that you don't have to customize if you don't want to, which looks effective. And it allows you to display images and text on the screen in a really easily understandable way. Being an extension of Python, it allows you to do everything in RenPy that you can do in Python itself, with the added bonus of being able to display your text and images in an easily customizable and simple way. Some examples on the RenPy.org website on the right hand side show some awesome games using a hand drawn manga style. But you aren't limited to that. You can do it with real photographs or CG renders from programs like Daz Studio as well. Where you get the images from is entirely up to you because RenPy will simply display PNGs and JPEGs and GIFs on the screen regardless of where you found the images. So RenPy is an incredibly flexible and easy to use system because of its simple pseudo English programming language. And it's not overkill. It doesn't do anything you don't tell it to do. One of the drawbacks of using systems like Unity over RenPy is that Unity is very overkill and it's not really tuned to create 2D um, kind of visual novel style games or dating sims and people tend to just steer towards unity because the marketing for unity advertises it as being a very simple click and drag interface which in a certain way is true but uh, renpy itself is a lot more versatile because you have to learn uh, the entire kind of system is really easy it's really easy and, and there's no an extra fluff for want of a better way of putting it. As you can see on RenPy.org website, it works for Android, Chrome OS, Linux, Windows, Mac OS, and iOS. So you can compile your games for all of these platforms and distribute them to a huge audience if you want to. And when you come to RenPy.org, the, the download link for the latest version is right there. Uh, I'll place a link for RenPy.org in the description for the video, just in case you're feeling lazy. So once you've downloaded that, you can come on to look at the documentation, but the documentation itself on the RenPy website is very limited. It's very out of date. Um, the developers tend to spend more time on the Limasoft forums, um, answering questions directly and adding ideas to the cookbook so that you can copy and paste code and learn how to use it. Yeah, the old fashioned way really for want of a better way of putting it the Lemosoft forums is generally extremely helpful and it's a great place to find information again I'll place a link for this in the description so once you've downloaded the Rempire application you can simply run it and install it onto your hard drive and then once you run it you will come up to the interface here obviously I've got some projects on the left hand side of mine but yours will just say tutorial and the question and then this allows you to open specific directories within the game directory and then you can edit specific files. Now RenPy comes with its own default text editor but a lot of people tend to download a code editor called uh, Atom which is incredibly good um, and free and it just makes the uh, display of the text a little bit more user friendly. Here's some code for um, the game that I'm currently working on and as you can see it allows you to see all of your files in a nice logical order down on the left hand side and it will color code depending on where you were uh, where you, what you're typing and you can simply download the RenPy package within the program itself so that's RenPy in a nutshell um, and in the next video we will talk about starting a new project and how to display your first text on the screen. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.